Here comes Ellie. You don't have to if you don't want to. She's coming. <laughs> I was admiring. Ah, no. Now, there we go. Yeah, she doesn't know. <laughs> she has just stopped. <laughs> Did you freeze solid right there? No, she's going to keep coming. <laughs> oh, no. You don't have to be out here, kiddo. I left the door open for her in case she wanted to come out. And she was laying on the couch in front of the heater. And I guess she's decided that that this is her time is better served outside in the snow. I know that Fluffy agrees with that. We're it overtime! We're it overtime! Panthers, here we go. Last game of the homestand where we head out after tonight for a very, very long one game road trip. Now, um, how can I put this? Well, we got eight inches of snow, but that's not what I was getting ready to say. It, it snowed, it snowed a lot. You guys know I was hoping for snow for Fluffy. He got snow. So, um, what do we, we what we need is two points. All right, you know, you lose the game to the devils, okay. All right, fine. You know, you win nine straight. Can't win every game. Okay. Then you lose the second game in a row in overtime. It's like, you know what? That's two. That's it. Last game, I thoroughly expected these guys to come out and be like, that's it. That was two. That's enough. Then we lose again. Now, it wasn't as bad as it was the, day, the, the game before where we blew all those two-goal leads. Nonetheless, that's it. That's it. Now, I made a threat, kind of an idle threat, in the last video where I said if, if we didn't win, I was going to do like a 2018-style rant. Um, I would like to preface that possible rant by saying my heart may or may not be in it. We'll see. All right, how about we just get two points? Now, Bob, or excuse me, Barkov is out, and I cracked kind of not the joke a couple games ago about how he's day-to-day, -day, and then we're going to find out he's out to the All-Star break. At this point, just keep him out. There's five games left. Uh, he, what, he, they, he keeps feeling it in practice when he's skating by himself. So whatever that is, just just let him, let him have the rest of the time off. There's five games left. Have the All-Star break, and then he can come back nice and rested and healthy. There's no reason to rush him back at this point, right? We're safely in the playoff spot. It's not like we suck without him. We do miss him. There's no doubt about that. Um, and I made it clear I would like to see a little bit of a different lineup with him out. I'd like to see Lundell, Bennett, Lusterine, and Stenlin. Um, and then, you know, work the forwards however you're going to have to work it that way. Not because of Stenlin, but because I think, well, because of Stenlin, but I like him much better at 4C than Stephen Lorenz. Um, other than that, I'm sure we got Bob and Ned tonight. We need, we need a Bubba game. We need a Bubba, Bubba, hey. The last couple games have been kind of mid, you know what I mean? We need a Vesna Bob game. I hope we don't play a game where we have to have Vesna Bob, but I'd like to see him nip the uh, nip it in the bud with the less than perfect games. You know what I'm saying. I'm not expecting him to be perfect, but we we're used to a certain level of play around here, Bob, and we'd like to see you get back on that horse for the All-Star break. Other than that, Panthers, just... I really don't want to rant. I'm really not in the mood to rant, all right? I'm in a good mood. We had snow. The football channel's doing good. Kyle did the podcast for me today. Fluffy's outside barking and peeing on snowmen. So I'm in a good mood. I really don't want to have to rant. So do me a favor and give me two. So it's one nothing, Minnesota after one. Now I'm going to take... What I think we'll do in the playoffs and long term and all that. Now put that on the shelf. And I'm just talking about this streak now. The three games and this, this tonight. Now, 
enough is enough is enough is enough is enough. All right, now I'm getting pissed. Now I'm starting to get pissed. They're so soft on the puck. They're so damn soft on the puck. The puck goes into the zone. Bennett goes around the board, gets it to Kachuk, and he's so freaking lazy that he don't even barely get the puck on his stick, and he just allows the Minnesota player to just give him a little bump and gets the puck out of the zone. They're all playing like ass. Every single last one of them is playing like a lackadaisical, lazy, ass baggery of a hockey player right now. And I've had enough. I was cool with it the first, you know, you lose a game, then you, you get a point. And it would have been better if we would have just gotten no points and maybe they would have pulled their heads out of their ass. But the fact that they played like dog shit the last couple of games and still gotten a point got them sitting out there thinking that they're hot shit. Which, when they play to the hottest of their ability, they are hot shit. But right now, the dog shit. Moving on to second period. This shit needs to end. Shit. Floor two. Wild. After two. Now, how can I put this? If you were a fan of this channel, 2017, 2018, sometimes into 2019, like two, three times a week, the video was a rant for how terrible we were. And I can't remember if it was two and one or one and two, but in the President's Trophy season, I think I had two rants last year. I think I might have had one, or that might have been flip-flop. Haven't had one yet this year because, yeah, we went, we made it to Stanley Cup Final. We've been pretty good. We haven't really had... A long streak to really get overly irritated about. And as much as I don't like losing games, I hate losing games. If you're going to play a tight game and you lose a game, okay. Now the effort tonight, with the exception of the last about four minutes of this period, has been smelly dog shit across the board. And I'm not, you know, they, they, they pulled Bob, they put in Stolars. I'm not saying all the goals were Bob's fault. Um, I'm not saying none of them are his fault either. You know what I mean? He, he allowed four goals in, I think it was 12 shots, 15 shots, whatever it was. Um, lots of screens. I'm not even going to, it's not even worth talking about whether or not it was Bob's fault or not because the rest of the team has just been so terrible so lackadaisical, so lazy, so uninvolved, with the exception if they want to fight, yeah, we're fighting all over the place, but in terms of actually playing hard when we have the puck on our stick, it's ass. It's bad. Now that said, we will add four power play goals. I take back everything that I said at the beginning of the video about Barkov, although I would love for us to be able to be a competent hockey team without him on the ice so that he could recover and come back properly and be healthy. Um, God damn. Like, is this really what... Where's the rest of the leadership? Now, Ekblad, it's funny because I've been praising Ekblad all night, and then he goes and takes the stupid penalty there, and we have to start the third period on the PK. I think that's their seventh, sixth or seventh penalty that we're having to kill off. Um, but Ekblad, honestly, has been the best player on the ice for the Panthers tonight. He has been the guy, at the very least, he may make some mistakes, but in terms of effort and wanting to win, he's been the guy on the ice. Not Kachuk. Bennett's been okay. Lusterinen's been okay. Lundell is, Lundell is just, I don't even know what to say about Anton Lundell anymore. With the exception of, in case you've seen what Owen Tippett is doing, I do not want to get rid of Anton Lundell because then Lundell will turn into Owen Tippett. You catch my point. Bottom line is it's a two-goal lead, so it's manageable. It's manageable. I'm begging you, please, Panthers, please. Please, please, please. I don't, I don't want to, I, I, I'm in a good mood which is really going to piss me off if you lose, because then I'm going to get irritated to the point where I will have no choice but to rant. So, unlike the other two games where I did not want overtime, let's see if we can get this game to Matthias.
Oh. Six four Minnesota. If you would have told me, if you would have told me Ekblad was going to have four points, Lundell would get a goal, and Lucian Ryan would get a goal, and we would lose by two or lose it all, I would have taken that bet. Now, the effort that we showed the last 10 minutes, while commendable, we get the two quick goals. And then as time started to wind down, we really laid it on. And I'll give Gustafson his credit. He made a couple of saves, especially the one on Montour. Um, I mean, Forsling got a goal, but at the same point, so many times missing. Missing why these guys are missing the net a lot. A lot. Um, that said, how that last 10 minutes of of chaos when you, you have to play more than 10 minutes of hockey. And we, we didn't. We didn't. Those first two periods were, remember back on that road trip when I said these guys must be sick because of how bad they looked and they were just getting beat to every puck and just standing around and standing around? Now there's a part of me, let's put it this way. There's, there's, I got three hands. On one hand, I'm not going to panic. Because we know, we've seen already what this team can do when they, in quote, turn on the energy. Okay, so there's that. You put it over here. Then there was the first, the second, and the third losses in a row. And I think what kind of hurt us in loss number two and loss number three was getting a point. So it was like, eh, we still got a point. Eh, we've had points in... 11 out of 12 games, eh, okay. I was kind of like, eh, no worries. Maurice was like, eh, no worries. I'm starting off the video saying, let Barkoff rest in the All-Star break. How bad can it get? And we didn't lose tonight because of Lundell or anything like that. But in terms of work ethic, <laughs> in terms of work ethic, um, Ekblad did what he could tonight. Now, I know that that sounds crazy to say it. and sound I know how that sounds, but Ekblad was the leader on this team tonight. It certainly wasn't 19. Bennett had his moments. Bob was not good. That's, that's a couple, two, three games in a row now where I'm not saying Bob has been bad, but he's given up goals he hadn't been given up. The defense for the first two periods was just a discombobulated, disorganized, dysfunctional, dyslexic mess. And just, just not being hard with the puck, not being, just, just being soft. Just playing soft while at the same time getting into fights and laying hits. Being soft with the puck. Now, the one thing I'll, I've said, and I said it again, and I know Lundell and Lucia Reinen, I know that line looked good tonight and everything like that, but I would still like to see Lundell, Bennett, Lucia Reinen, Stenlin, because with all due respect to Lorenz, when he's on the ice, the fourth line is basically invisible. And so by putting Stenlin, Lorenz in, instead of Lucia Reinen, in Stenlin, you weaken two lines because Lusterinen is better than Stenlin and Stenlin is better than Lorenz. So, and, and on that third line, or wherever the hell Rodriguez is, I guess on that third line next to Stenlin, Erod is invisible anyway. So I would go Rodriguez, I would go Lusterinen, Rodriguez, Reinhardt, and then move Stenlin or move Luster Reinen to 3C. You know what I'm trying to say. Rodriguez, Lundell, Reinhardt, Luster Reinen at 3C. But that don't fix the, the effort level. This, this team, again, I'm not worried about how they're going to look in the playoffs. They're not going to do this in the playoffs. 
but they're gonna have to work on the the balance between we're playing lights out and winning nine in a row and now okay we're not playing our best game but we're still playing good enough to win we had that road trip where we were not playing good enough to win now this is four games in a row we're really i know we tried our asses off tonight but we did not deserve to win this game we deserve to lose this game in fact out of all four of the games that we've played this game we deserve to lose more than any of the other ones so we have to find a happy medium between tearing it up and this lackadaisical dog shit that we put on the ice the first two have two two and a half period because what was 13 left 13 minutes into the with 13 minutes left in the game it was we were still down three so everything we did until we got those two quick goals just throw it in the garbage can except for I think we need to look at it at this point okay I'm not worried about Kachuk in terms of his health um but last couple games where are you Chucky you're you're still hanging up here yeah and he shaved again and every time the dude shaves he sucks that's hyperbolic but when he shaves he's nowhere near as good as the guy that's got the beard that's that's a scientific fact right there so oh four in a row four in a row four in a row and the nine game winning streak all the everything we did to maybe get close to first place that's gone I think the Leafs won. I mean, I'm not worried about a playoff spot, but that's part of the problem, right? Is we're not really worried about a playoff spot. So, but this this was too much. Two games. Okay. The third one was like, now we're going to come out on fire, right? And we didn't. We came out like ass again. Not skating, not working, just not. All of it. Like, there's no one thing you could blame. The penalty kill was bad. The power play looked bad. The goaltending was mid at best. The defense looked terrible. The forwards weren't working until the end. I mean, all facets of the game were bad. All of it. I suppose that's better than just like playing a great game and having Bob blow a game or something like that. So that's where we are. That's where we are is comfortably in second place on a four-game losing streak. So, like I said, I'm not going to panic. I'm not worried about how this team is going to look in the playoffs. They're not going to put this effort on the ice in the playoffs. I realize that we won nine straight, and they kind of wanted to coast into the all-star break. But, Jesus, four in a row, guys, really, with this is the cherry on top. This was the worst effort of, the, of all four games, really. I'm not, I know we might have looked worse against New Jersey, but New Jersey is New Jersey, and we had just won nine straight. So you get a pass, okay? This was the worst effort out of the four games. That's a concern. That's a concern. And, you know, Maurice, I saw his, his, his comments, and, you know, before this game, and he was kind of like, yeah. We lost the game, and then we lost the two after the regulation, because I don't really count overtime. However, he worded it. But I wonder what now. I wonder now if he's going to be like, all right, hey, dumbasses, this is enough. He gave them, he handled, he's handled those three games much in the same way that I handled them, with just kind of just like giving them enough leeway. But it's all right. We're okay. We're fine. But now, no, 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 not four. Not for it. This is not okay. And although I know I don't have any say over the damn stuff, hopefully um, Maurice is in the same vibe that I'm at, which was three, was like, that's my maximum, and now four, all right, bag skate. You know what I mean? I mean, just like absolute bag skate, these guys. He called off practice. He called off Thursday practice, gave him a day off, thought that that was the technique to take, and we shat all over the ice tonight. So tomorrow, bag, when do we play? We're off the whole weekend. So whenever we have us, we, we don't play Saturday, we don't play Sunday, and we're on the road Nashville on Monday. So whichever day we're going to have a practice, 
whether it's tomorrow or Sunday, it would probably be tomorrow. Bag skate. Bag skate. Boom. All right? Can't be putting that on the ice. At home, in front of like a freaking packed house that was excited to be there. The crowd, I mean the crowds. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to try to not, I'm trying to not do the thing. I don't want to do the thing. I'm in a good mood. I got eight inches of snow outside to play with the dog in, and I've been asking for that because, you know, he ain't getting any younger, and we hadn't had snow in a couple of years. So I'm in too good of a mood to get pissed off. That said, I w I would be like the happy coach tomorrow, and I wouldn't be yelling and screaming at the guys, but I would be like, hey, guess what, assholes? Bag skate, okay? I would be doing something. These guys need to need, need to get a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. They need to know that there's going to be some consequences. Four is too much. Three was too many, but after you win nine, you get an extra bonus, okay? Everybody's going to lose two in a row. All right, but you won nine, so you get the third. Now the third is like, that's, that's it. Nine and three, okay. All right, this is for this not okay. This not okay. All right. Um, the review will be live at noon tomorrow, or this morning, if you're watching this video this morning. Review will be live at noon, and then Kyle and I will be on the football channel, and we will be streaming all of the playoff games. So the two tomorrow, the two on Sunday, and then we will be back with our normal hockey schedule on Monday. That's the Preds in Nashville, and then we come home for another one game and then I think we go on the road for two straight back to back. And then I think that's the all-star break. I I think, I believe, is that does that sound right? Or am I a week off? Well, there's only four more games, so that has to be right. Yeah. And then there's the week we got the weekend and the AFC championship games, and then the next weekend is the all-star weekend. Yes, that makes sense. Okay. All right, Panther fans, I'm not going to, don't panic. Don't panic. The team doesn't suck. We don't need to trade anybody. Bob's going to be fine. It, it's, it, this is not a talent issue, okay? This is not a talent issue. This is an effort issue because they got lazy, because they're smoking their own Eastern Conference champions, Ganja, and they look in the standings, and they go, can we just start the playoffs now? I have every confidence in the world that if the playoffs started Monday, they would be locked and loaded and ready to go and to give us the effort that we know that this team can give. I am not concerned even a smidgen about that. They are going to have to fix the interim part where they still do need to win you know, six or seven out of ten games to finish in second place and be in the position that they want to be in. Other than that, I'm going to go play with the dog in the snow. No points again.